The weather in New England is notorious for how quickly it changes. But when it comes to the study of our atmosphere, there's been one constant in the Boston area for over a century. Perched atop this windy rock pile in Milton, the Blue Hill Weather Observatory is a pioneering scientific institution with a rich past and a vital future. My colleague Barry Burbank shows us why. For 117 years, through every imaginable kind of weather, the Blue Hill Observatory has kept an eye on our atmosphere. Just 10 miles south of Boston is the oldest continuously operating weather station in the country. Many scientists consider this the cradle of meteorology. This is where it really all began in the United States. The observatory opened in 1885. Since then, they've kept an unbroken climate record, an unprecedented achievement. Over a century of observations, painstakingly inscribed by hand every day. Suppose you want to look back a hundred years. And we can go in here and actually look at the date, February 2nd, 1902, and find that the high temperature that day was 48 degrees and the low was 31 degrees. And the weather for the day was rain changing to snow. Bob Skilling has worked here as a weather observer for 42 years. I take care of taking readings of temperature and wind and sky cover, visibility, snowfall, rainfall. They still use some of the old equipment, like these barometers dating back to the 1890s. And this sunshine recorder, which is a large magnifying glass that burns a hole in a test card to measure the intensity of the sun. And since 1885, they've taken temperature readings from this same spot. That consistency makes this weather station unique. Uh, every day someone has to be here at about 7 in the morning to take a reading. And they've documented change. We see about a 2.5 degree rise in temperature at Blue Hill since 1900. 15 of the last 19 winters at Blue Hill have been above normal for temperature. And that's an astonishing record. Researchers here have done pioneering experiments that set new standards. But some of their most important work happened when they took to the sky. They were the first to use kites to haul weather equipment into the atmosphere. And they developed the radio sonde, a package of instruments sent aloft on a balloon. It allowed people to measure the atmosphere from the top to the bottom uh, all around the world using the same technique discovered here at Blue Hill Observatory. They were also one of the first to use time-lapse photography to study the motion of clouds and gain important knowledge about the upper atmosphere. Today, the observatory remains a vital resource, keeping precious records of the past with a watchful eye on our future. This observatory is also a science center where the general public, especially children, are invited to visit. For more information, check them out on the web at bluehill.org. If you're interested in the weather, it's an exciting resource.